Please rise up on your feet and join me to welcome to the pulpit the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Today, the Lord is beginning with you as a great miracle worker, signs and wonders. Miracle in your life. Signs and wonders in your life. And all those who are online, I want to tell you that the miracle power will come from the Alpha location here and get to you right there. Many people are going to give testimonies at the end. And you will be a sharer of the miracle power in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you and bless your name. What a great God you are. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, you are the great miracle worker. The same yesterday, today, and forever. And we pray signs and wonders will be experienced by everyone here tonight, here at the Alpha location, and there online, everywhere, in Jesus' name. Touch everyone. Turn every life around and transform lives here tonight. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. We're looking at um, 1 Timothy chapter 2. And I'm reading to you from verse 3. 1 Timothy chapter 2, reading from verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Look at verse 4. It says, who will have all men to be saved. All men. He wants to save. He wants everyone, everyone hearing the word tonight. He will have all men to be saved. Go beyond that. He will have all men to be delivered. He will have all men to be healed. He will have all men to be transformed. And that transforming power of the Lord is here with you today. You will get it. Because he wants all, everyone without exception, the boy, the girl, the man, the woman, the church goer, and those who have never gone to any church, and you are here tonight, salvation is coming to you. He says, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. In verse 5, he says, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Verse 6, verse 6 tells us who gave himself a ransom for all. He gave himself a ransom for all is the final sacrifice. No other sacrifice after the one that Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. And, and he did that for you, did that for me, did that for everyone. He gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. This is your time. I said this is your time where we're going to do something all through this crusade that watch miracle because we're talking about Jesus the miracle worker that word miracle as an M as an I as an R, as an A, as a C, an L, an E. And I'm going to concentrate on each of those letters today. I'm looking at the letter M, Jesus, the merciful mediator for all men. Jesus, the merciful mediator. He is mediator. And that's what we have read. Is mediator for all men. And he gave himself a ransom for everyone. The mediator that is merciful. No matter what your condition is. Mercy is coming to you. 
miracle is coming to you and he will have mercy on you all your sorrows he'll take away all your burden he'll take away and everything that you feel like pain like a load upon your life tonight the mercy of the mediator that is for all men will get to you he will forgive your sin give me a good good amen now and it will heal your sicknesses today starting with this aim miracle will land at your doorstep we're looking at three things here number one the might and majesty of the mediator the mind how powerful you see how great you see how majestic you see number one is the might and the majesty of the mediator number two in the miracles of mercy by the messiah he is the messiah is the one that has come to deliver us and he has mercy and he has miracles and they are miracles of mercy number three the manifestation of marvels by the master the manifestation of marvels marvelous things it will do in your life tonight marvelous things you will do in your life today the manifestation of marvels by the master we're coming to number one number one we're looking at the might and we're looking at the majesty of the mediator as we're talking about jesus christ the miracle worker we're talking about his power unlimited we talk about his might irresistible we talk about the signs and the wonders that he does in every life and you will not be an exception tonight the might of the mediator will work in your life and the majesty of the mediator will work in your life look at isaiah if you have your bible there if you don't i'll read it to you isaiah chapter 9 and i'm reading there from verse 6 isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 it says for unto us a child is born He's talking about it in a prophetic way, looking forward to the birth of Jesus Christ. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Now, why was Jesus born of Virgin Mary? Because of us, unto us. Why did he go to the cross at Calvary to die? Because of us unto us a son is given you understand that from the time of prophecy prophesying that christ will come prophesying that he will be in this world and he will do those mighty things and he will do those majestic things it says from that time is because of us unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called wonderful somebody shout wonderful that's what will happen to you today people will look at you after you leave here they'll say this is wonderful wonders in your life I said wonders in your life, wonders in your family, wonders in your soul and in your spirit. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the mighty God, the mighty God. He has might, he has power. And no matter what problem you have, the might of the Lord, the power of the Lord is coming tonight. He'll rule all those problems away in Jesus' name name and is the everlasting father the father from eternity and the prince of peace peace will come to your life all the confusion and all the conflict everything will vanish away and tonight is that night for you to connect with Christ and for you to connect with the son of God who comes to bring peace in your heart 
in your family and peace in your life in Jesus name look at verse 7 in verse 7 it says of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it it will order your life there are lives in shambles there are lives in confusion there are lives that are scattered they are here and there and they do not have the otherliness they do not have the serenity and the peace they do not have what will please them and people will look at and they will say this is an orderly life this is a good life but tonight orderliness will come all the disorganization and scattering in your heart in your life everything will vanish away it says to order it and to establish it with justice with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever the zeal of the lord of whose will perform this a performance coming upon your life in isaiah chapter 63 reading from verse 1 isaiah chapter 63 from verse 1 who is this that cometh from edom with dyed garments from bosra this that is glorious in his apparel traveling in the greatness of his strength everywhere he goes he has great strength great power and the great power is with him tonight and is coming to you tonight where are you he'll come with that great power and everything that needs renewal in your life he'll renew your life Revival in your life, it revive your life. Restoration, whatever it is you have lost from your standing in God and your health and sanity, it'll restore everything tonight in Jesus' name. It says He is the one that is great in strength. He comes in the greatness of His strength. I that speak. In righteousness, mighty to save. That's who he is. He is mighty to save, mighty to heal, mighty to deliver. And whatever has been an impossibility in your life, it's become possible tonight. The mountain of your life will roll away. The sickness of your heart in your body will be healed tonight. And all that uh, perspiration and the heart uh, trouble will steady that heart tonight in Jesus' name. He, he comes with might. He comes with majesty. He comes with power. And he comes with all possibilities. And he's mighty to save, mighty to heal, mighty to deliver a mighty to set free Hebrews chapter 7 reading from verse 25 we're told about how great he is in saving souls and in turning your life around and no matter no matter how deep you've gone in sin how high you've gone in crime and how terrible you have been you're even a terror to yourself but tonight the lord is going to perform the wonder of salvation he is able he is able he is able to take your life and turn it in the right direction tonight we're looking at hebrews chapter 7 reading from verse 25 wherefore he is able he is able look at your condition he is able look at the deadness and the depravity of your heart and your life and is going to do a great work of salvation he is able look at your sickness and look at how you've gone here you've gone there you've gone everywhere and no solution has been there but tonight he is able is able to save you you will be saved 
He is able to heal you. You will be healed. He is able to deliver you. You will be delivered tonight in Jesus' name. Look at that. Wherefore, he is, not was, not will be, at the present time today is able to save you is able to save able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto god uh-huh you must come you must come because if you stay at a distance that's showing unbelief if you don't come near to go through christ that's because of unbelief or maybe you don't want to change but the change is to make your life better is to make your life positive and to make your life productive it says the people that come unto god by him you are coming to god tonight i said you are coming to god tonight and when you come he is able to save them to the uttermost the people that come to God by him seeing he ever live to make intercession for them he's even praying for you that this will be your day your day of salvation your day of healing your day of miracle your day of the manifestation of the power of heaven upon your life in jesus name look at verse 26 it says for such an high priest no other high priest no other priest can save no other high priest anywhere in any religion even in so-called christian religion can replace christ and bring you salvation for such an high priest became us who is holy harmless undefiled separate from sinners look at this made higher than the heavens made higher than the heavens you understand that heaven is higher than earth and all those saints and all those angels in heaven they are higher than all the people here on earth and christ is higher than all in heaven all angels therefore as high and the heaven is higher than the earth its power to save is higher than any other power here on earth and what a great thing revelation that that christ that savior higher than any personality of the past of the present of the future that that christ comes to you today and he will save you it will turn your life around. In Luke chapter 24, reading from verse 19, and he said unto them, What things? And he said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty indeed. Everywhere he went, when he came to this world, he healed the sick. He delivered the oppressed. He saved the sinner. And now they were recollecting, recalling what had happened when he was on earth. And you know, what he did at that time, he's still going to do today because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mighty in deed and word before god and all the people and before the people here tonight and before the people online tonight he is going to show the mightiness of his deed and of his word and his deeds will work in your life tonight and roll those problems away the moment we mention the name of jesus your problems are gone tonight then in verse 21 it says but we trusted that it that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel and should have redeemed all nations and redeemed you and that trust is there tonight that faith is there tonight and it will redeem you 
it will save you it will forgive your sin it will set you free tonight in jesus name we're looking at number two we've seen his might and his majesty now we're looking at number two which is the miracles of mercy by the messiah the miracles of mercy by the messiah is called the messiah why look at this john chapter 4 verse 25 the woman says unto him we know that messiah's cometh she didn't know that the messiah had come she didn't know she was face to face with the messiah and what should be the present realization she was thinking it would be a future revelation she said okay i reserve all my questions I reserve all my prayers I reserve all my desires until the future when that Messiah will come and so the woman said unto him I know that the Messiah cometh which is called Christ when he is come he will tell us all things and she didn't know like many people do not know that today the messiah is right there by your side jesus christ present everywhere jesus christ mighty and powerful for every need of your life many people they're still thinking uh, the messiah will come he has come he died on the cross of Calvary and he is the one that will tell us all things all things about our salvation he says I am here your savior all things about our healing okay and when the Messiah comes he will tell me about the he says I'm here your healer and some people are thinking the deliverance will come and when the Messiah comes he will show us and tell us about our deliverance but that Messiah is here already amen and tonight he'll manifest that power of the Messiah. Look at verse 26. Jesus says unto her, I that speak unto thee, I am he. The Lord said, Don't think that the Savior is far away. I'm the one speaking to you, Christ said. And he says, I that speak unto you, I am he, your Savior she didn't know that immediately she knew that she let her water pot and ran to the town and said come see man that told me everything that i ever did now she could have completed the sentence and she told me everything i will be and the miracle of salvation came unto her think about that woman that woman as you look at her history she didn't merit salvation even people around will say look at the way you have lived a dirty life a defiled life a doomed and damned life yet jesus brought salvation to her he has brought salvation to you I said it's brought salvation to you and as we accept that tonight the miracle of mercy which is reflected in salvation forgiveness freedom it will come to you and then you meet the healer tonight you meet the deliverer tonight you meet the miracle worker tonight not by marriage there's nothing you can pay he doesn't need uh, your dollar your pound sterling your naira your uh, your seed your sifa anything you have he says you can spend that by yourself he says i already provided your salvation and he said it is finished I already provided your healing by his tribes you are healed not by the money you contribute not by any good work you can offer 
by his stripes you are healed and by his redemption you are delivered and that deliverance for you is tonight I said it's tonight because whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be healed, shall be delivered. I that speak unto you, I am he. Look at Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, we're looking at the story of a man, a man that also needed the salvation of the Lord the forgiveness of the Lord, the freedom from the Lord, and needed the healing and deliverance from just like you. What that man needed, you also need today. And as he gave to that man by mercy, that mercy extends unto every generation. And that mercy is coming to you tonight. Amen. We're looking at Mark chapter 10 verse 46 And he came to Jericho And as he went out of Jericho With his disciples And a great number of people Blind But Timaeus The son of Timaeus Sat by the highway side Begging the man was blind. Oh, somebody says, I thank God I'm not blind. Think again. Many people who see with their eyes, they have sight, they don't have insight. And insight is greater than sight. They have Sight, they don't have perception, and perception is greater than the sight. They can see the physical, the present, but they cannot see tomorrow and they cannot see the future. We are all blind, blind to the salvation of God blind to the way into the miracle power of God blind to the solution of every problem in our lives the man was blind but he got the sight and the insight by the mercy of Christ and that mercy is available for you today okay it's available for me for me that mercy will reach you. Look at verse 47. In verse 47, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. That man prayed aright. And he prayed well, better than any other person you know the pharisee came and he said god i'm not like other men i merit the blessing from you he went away empty handed but this man knew how to pray he said nothing in my hand i bring simply to your cross i cling. i can't give you money you created the whole universe i cannot promise you anything in our sun, cement, land. You created everything there. There's the lords and the fullness thereof. And so even if I add them and I presented them to you, you have heaven and you have all the angels at you for your possession and so i'm not going to try to say i'll give you this and then you give me salvation i'll give you that and then you give me healing i'll give you this other thing and then you give me deliverance he said i come for mercy if you come for mercy tonight you'll be saved if you come for mercy tonight, you'll be healed. If you come for mercy tonight, you'll be delivered in Jesus' name. Look at verse 48. Verse 48. And many charged him. Him that they should hold. He should hold his peace. But he cried the more. A great deal. Thou son of David 
have mercy on me. And there are people that think they should control whether you get saved or not. There are people that think they should control whether you are forgiven of your sin or not. There are people that think they control whether you have mercy or not. No human being will control your destiny. Your destiny in the hands of the Messiah that has mercy. And you come to him. And if anybody tries to silence you, don't give your heart to the Lord. You will overlook them. Did I hear your amen? Yeah. And so when they challenged the man and charged him, he cried the more. A great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Look at verse 49. And Jesus stood still. He heard the prayer of Bartimaeus. And tonight he hears your prayer. Tonight he shows you mercy. Tonight he forgives all your sin. Tonight peace of mind will come to you in Jesus name and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called and he called the blind man saying unto him be of good cheer be of good comfort rise he calleth you I thought these were the same people that tried to silence him. Yes, the same people. As you continue until Christ gives you mercy in salvation and you get that mercy from the Lord, all your enemies will become your, your, your friend. And the people that try to hinder you, they'll become your helpers from tonight in Jesus' name. And the people that frown at you and say, why are you calling on Jesus? Why do you want salvation? Why do you want the mercy of God? Those same people, they will become your friends. And they say, be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. Verse 50, in verse 50, and he casting away his garment. Why? Why did he hold on to his garment? Actually, that garment in Israel was the badge of a blind man. Uh, you know, the kind of clothes that people wear that when cars or vehicles are coming, uh, the vehicle will shine light on the garment and then they will know you are there. The blind man, uh, that was his garment and badge for blindness. He said, I am going to Jesus tonight because of that, the badge of blindness gone. God, you know there are people they try to be happy by through alcohol and then when you are coming to Jesus Jesus will give you more happiness than the alcohol that the pan wine can give you and therefore you say I don't need that again I was drinking that so that I could overcome my sorrow and my pain. And Jesus, that is greater than the alcohol, is now inviting you. Bottles of alcohol gone in Jesus' name. You know, some people, when they are depressed and despair, uh, what they do is to go and take cigarette, maybe the ordinary cigarette, maybe marijuana, maybe hard drugs, because they feel that that will give them the joy, the happiness, and uh, uh, the kind of backbone courage that they need. But now you are coming to Christ. Everything you are thinking, uh, the marijuana will give you, not necessary anymore. Christ will give you. Yeah. He will turn your life around. You never felt joy in your life, happiness in your life. All those things cannot, you know, give you joy or happiness. 
Christ will give you greater joy and greater happiness and long-standing joy and happiness in your life in Jesus name some people when you're feeling kind of depressed unhappy and sad and they, they look for a man they look for a woman uh, to do something illicit illegal unrighteous who have them they feel that that will release them of their attention but you know the, the this man cast away the garment because he knew everything he was looking for to release uh, all that tension and all those uh, evil things he did so that he will have uh, pleasure now greater pleasure we have in Christ greater goodness we have in Christ and greater release we have in Christ and therefore all those things that are false and deceptive we throw them away we turn away from them and he casting away his garment rose and he came to Jesus look at verse 51 in verse 51 and Jesus answered and said unto him what wilt thou that I should do unto thee what do you want what wilt thou that I should do unto thee? Uh, let me tell you something quickly. There are people that misunderstand prayer. And they say, when you pray, God can answer in different ways. God may say no. And they say, that's an answer. No, that's not an answer. That's a refusal somebody wants something and he tells God and God says no that's not an answer Jesus said but he meals what do you want it's what you want he will give you tonight if you say I want forgiveness he will not say no because already is the merciful God who is a pardoning God like this and it will put your sin in the depths of the sea if you say I want forgiveness I'm troubled by a guilty conscience it's not going to say no he is going to give you exactly what you are asking for if you're saying I need freedom freedom from the yoke and the cord of sin that binds me that's exactly what he's going to give he's not going to say no, uh, Jesus said, What was thou that I should do unto thee? What you want him to do? Salvation tonight you receive, yeah. healing tonight you receive, yeah. miracle tonight you receive, yeah. freedom from every yoke tonight you receive. Look at this, and the blind man said unto him Lord that I might receive my sight and it's only that that he requested for if Christ did that for him that is the answer anything different will not be an answer what you're asking for there tonight that's exactly what God will give you healing that's exactly what God will give you miracle that's exactly what God will give you tonight he said Lord understand he called him Lord others have been in control of his life but now he called him Lord sometimes in trying to get a sight in the past he might have gone to you know those who uh, can contact Satan for him and Satan becomes his Lord he said now I'm changing masters he said now I'm changing the laws I used to depend on those other laws before but now Christ will be my Lord how about you I said how about you going to other lords 
I'm going to do so scribble something on the sand and it become your controller and it become your Lord and going to do some kind of a, a take something from the back of the tree and they grind it or burn it and they burn some things of that and you listen to them in the past but they are not your Lord anymore I reject every other Lord I reject every other Lord and now he called him Lord he said Lord that I might receive my sight look at verse 52 in verse 52 Jesus said unto him go thy way thy faith has made thee whole thy faith has made thee whole thy faith your faith in Christ not faith in yourself your faith in Christ who died to provide salvation for you not faith in a man not faith in a denomination a church because you know it's Christ that saves and you have faith in that Christ and salvation comes and healing comes and deliverance comes and we're told and immediately he received a sight forthwith and he followed Jesus in the way tonight is your night once you meet with Jesus his savior salvation immediate once you meet with Jesus the miracle worker the miracle immediate once you meet with the healer your healing tonight immediate in Jesus name but look at this and he followed Jesus in the way he followed Jesus in the way he didn't go back to all those uh, powerless powers he didn't go back to all those others who have been claiming to be his Messiah his deliverer no he followed Forsook them and he didn't go back. Think about this. Now his eyes were open. Where did I cast my garment? The badge of blindness. Didn't go back to that. He got his sight, like you are going to get your sight. He got his miracle, like you are going to get your miracle. And then he didn't go back to those dirty clothes that he used to uh, put on now he followed Jesus in the way who will be the next to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back the world behind you the garment of sin behind you your alcohol behind you your cigarette your marijuana behind you the dirty life behind you and Christ in front, in front you will follow Jesus all the days of your life you'll not go back to those things you have dropped Jesus will be your Savior and your Lord from tonight in Jesus name look at point number three here point number three the manifestation of marvels by the master the manifestation of marvels by the master manifold blessings coming upon your life marvelous blessings coming upon your life there must be a manifestation in your life right there tonight it will happen to you it will happen to me to me marvels of salvation marvels of healing marvels of deliverance marvels of miracle for you tonight God has planned and purple stage you must go back home with forgiveness you must go back home with freedom you must go back home with the power that saves and turns life around it will happen tonight hey, look at this look at this in mark chapter 5 verse 35 while he yet speak there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said thy daughter 
is dead why troublest thou the master anymore why troublest thou the master anymore his master that's what we'll come to him his master in life is the master of death his master over satan his master over evil spirit his master over disease and his master over sicknesses his master over your heart ache and over your head ache that's why we call him master that's why we call him lord there is no problem that goes beyond his power they said why troubles thou the master anymore i'm not troubling him he's so nice and merciful he will not allow me to go empty-handed and he is master and he'll become my master tonight he'll become your master tonight look at verse 36 verse 36 as soon as jesus the master as soon as jesus the messiah as soon as jesus the mediator as soon as jesus the miracle worker had the word that was spoken he says unto the ruler of the synagogue be not afraid only believe and tonight christ is telling you through what you are hearing be not afraid only believe only believe and it will be unto you as you believe tonight in jesus name because if you will only believe all things are possible to him who believes salvation possible forgiveness possible healing possible every yoke being broken from your life tonight possible be not afraid only believe it will happen i said for you tonight it will happen because whosoever shall call my brother there my sister their son daughter there whosoever shall call on the name of the lord will be saved salvation has come will be healed freedom healing has come will be delivered deliverance has come tonight only believe lord i believe lord i believe where are you if you believe where are you it will happen it's bowed and eyes closed all he wants you to do tonight is to believe him as your messiah believe him as your mediator and believe him as the master and lord of your life be not afraid only believe it's bowed and eyes closed you're believing him tonight to forgive your sin you're believing him tonight to save you from all your sins he is mighty to sin Where, wherever you are you raise up your hand i believe wherever you are you raise up your hand i believe i believe uh, he will save me i believe he'll take the power of sin away from my life tonight i believe i believe he will set me free from the chains and the shackles of my sin tonight i believe where are you raise up that hand you believe tonight jesus is savior you believe tonight jesus will pardon you and forgive you you believe tonight he'll set you free free from the power of sin that had dominated your life all these many years he wants to save you now by his mercy by his mercy forgiveness salvation through mercy waiting for you if you're raising up your hand you please stand up 
you're raising up your hand you'll please stand up stand up stand up for jesus stand up stand up for salvation in jesus stand up stand up for forgiveness through jesus stand up stand up for freedom through jesus and as you stand up in your heart you throw away that garment of your past life you throw away the dirty defiling garment of your past life as you come to him you throw away all the weakness of the past and you say i'm coming to christ is going to forgive me is going to set me free and immediately is going to grant me that salvation which only he christ can give keep the hand up and keep standing i pray with you for you now father in the mighty name of jesus our savior all these who are standing they believe that you are the savior the only savior and they believe that you forgive because you are a merciful pardoning god lord i pray forgive them all their sins in jesus name and I pray the power of sin will be broken away from their lives. And Lord, I pray all the presence of the pollution of the sins, you cleanse away and wipe out and wash away from their lives in Jesus' name. Give them assurance that you never fail. You never say no to anyone that asks you, of salvation forgiveness and freedom you have said yes to their prayer you have saved them you have forgiven them you have set them free and i pray that that salvation through the mercy of the lord will be their portion their possession right now thank you lord because we know it is done in jesus name we pray another amen. amen keep on standing our counselors around you there and they will get your information so that we'll follow up on you and make sure that the hidden salvation the forgiveness the freedom is permanent we call on our officiating minister uh, to help us through at this time then i'll come back and we'll pray for the healing thank god your healing has come our counselors are by your sides want us to please respond to them. The counselors are there with the forms. And if you are watching online and you have given your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link below your prayer. Click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Please Make sure that you put down your names and you allow the counselors to co collect the information they want to get from you. Our Father and the Lord will still be coming back to pray for you. So this meeting is not over yet. And if you are listening via the radio or television and you have given your life to Christ, Please send your name and your phone number or your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to the number plus 234-915-444-9263. I take the number again, plus 234 
there will be a special meeting, lunch hour with Jesus, for all those who give their lives to Jesus tomorrow by 3 o'clock p.m. The venue is going to be a hall by my left-hand side at this meeting. You'll see the hall well labeled towards the left of our meeting, which is your right side. That meeting will hold tomorrow, lunch hour with Jesus. That meeting will hold tomorrow by 3 o'clock p.m. Want us to please respond to the counselors who are by your side. You have taken a very good decision. This is one of the most important decisions you will ever take in your life. It's a good thing you have done. So take it further. Make sure that you have your names and your addresses collected. And if you're online, please respond to the number scrolling on the screen. So we'll be able to follow up on you. Because our pastor will want to relate with you so that you'll be a successful Christian by the grace of God. And furthermore, we'll be having a special banquet for all believers, those of us who have given our life to Christ tonight. Apart from the meeting tomorrow by 3 p.m., there's also going to be a special meeting on the 3rd September 2023 in all our locations, in all our region headquarters in Oshun State. So please, let's note these important dates. Tomorrow, by 3 o'clock, we'll be coming for lunch hour with Jesus in a hall by my left hand side which is your own right hand side and you'll see the hall there you'll see the labels there by 3 o'clock our counselors will be there to meet with you for the lunch hour with Jesus may I need to let you understand that there are special things writings and books by our Father and the Lord prepared specially for you. We want you to be available for this program. Please don't miss it for any reason. Three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. While the counselors are busy taking the records of those who have given their life to Christ, may I encourage the rest of us remember we are here to meet with Jesus the miracle worker. Talk to that Jesus. Talk to him. He's a miracle worker. Tonight you go home with your miracles. You won't live here the way you came. Something special. Something spectacular. Something beautiful. The Lord will do in your life. So call upon the Lord while our counselors are busy collecting the records of those who have given their life to Christ. And please, our counselors, once you are done with the records, let's know. Raise the flags wherever you are so we'll be able to know that you have done. And our Father and the Lord will be able to come back to pray for the needs of the people. And while that is going on, talk to Jesus about what you want him to do for you. You are here for miracles. And Jesus, the miracle worker, is here. The blind man, he got his miracles. So will you go do, get your own tonight. The great physician is here. The Lord Jesus is here. The great deliverer is here. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. The miracle worker is here. Talk to him. 
Our counselors, we are waiting for you. Let's make sure that we collect the appropriate information from the people. And if you have given your life to Christ, you are not being attended to now. Please respond so we'll know that you have not yet been reached. All over the hall, all over the, the ground, this is prayer time. Those who have given their life to Christ, appreciation for God's goodness in helping you to know him, to come home from wandering far away in sin. And for those who by his grace are in already, I'm sure you need something special you want the Lord to do for you. This is the time to talk to him. This is your time of expectations, great expectations. And the Lord is here to fulfill all those desires. We are waiting for our counselors. Let's wave the flags with us once you are ready in your units. While our counselors are still busy collecting data, we're encouraging those of us to spend the time to call upon the Lord, the Lord Jesus, the miracle worker. He's a miracle worker. And he will do your own for you tonight. He will do the miracle. That long expectation you've been having. This is your night. What people thought was impossible will become possible for you tonight. As our Father and the Lord will come back to pray for you. You go home rejoicing. Testifying to God's faithfulness. Be not afraid. The victory is here already. The battle is won. Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah, he has conquered. We're waiting for our counselors. Our counselors all over. When we think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for us. And tonight, you go home rejoicing. You go home, you leave this ground with your own miracles. Okay, thank you. The flags are coming on. I'm waiting for the flags on the left-hand side here. Thank you. Thank you. Let's rise on our feet and talk to God. It's miracle time. Praise the Lord. It's miracle time. My miracle time. Whatever you are asking from the Lord, healing, deliverance, miracle, mountain moving, whatever. This is the moment it will be done. Yeah. Raise up your hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. And after the final amen, it's done. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, yeah. we thank you for your might, for your power, for the wonders, and for the signs. We're asking, Lord, Touch, transform, 
heal everyone in Jesus name those blind eyes I command you be opened in Jesus name those who are lame like that man threw away the garment the badge of blindness throw that stick away stand by yourself walk in Jesus name those who are deaf and dumb I command your healing come to you right now dumb tongues be loosed deaf ears be opened every swelling in your body from the neck to the legs any swelling be healed in Jesus name long-standing problem cancer ulcer kidney problem be healed in Jesus name Lord I pray the swelling of hunchback vanish away in Jesus name to the left to the right to the center everywhere and online I pray that the miracle, the healing, the deliverance you are asking for will happen right now. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. You have got the miracle. Lord, let there be manifestation everywhere. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You have got a check up and as you see the miracle, you come over here so you can be given chance to give your testimony.